Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Republic Aviation, and uh, I'm back here with another video. As uh, you can see, we got two really uh, bo we we got two uh, boxes over here. Um, both of these boxes um, are filled with some uh, pretty rare and extremely hard to find models. Uh, not so hard to find, actually. They just have a pretty hefty price tag with them. Uh, but uh, I picked them both off of eBay, um, and they are going to be adding to my British Airways um heavy long haul collection from uh new york jfk uh very two needed models and you could probably guess maybe from the title of the video um or um or you could probably guess from um from like you know what british airways flies into jfk but we're gonna start off with uh with uh the first box that we have over here um so like i said i i ordered both of these models from china um and they uh both came um they both came pretty quick. Um, I'm not going to... Uh, they both came pretty quick. Ordered them like last Thursday or something. And they're here. It's Tuesday. So that's uh, very quick. I'm just going to open this box right here. Pretty hard to open and uh, see the model. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, so here's the model. So, guys, um, the first model to add to my long haul British Airways um, uh, collection slash fleet is the uh, 1400 scale. Uh, Gemini Jets, uh, British Airways, uh, 777-200ER, um, very much needed model, got that on eBay for, uh, around 80 bucks, um, yeah, uh, shipping was, uh, pretty, pretty expensive though, but, uh, then we'll open up the next box I have over here, um, so this box, um, also came from China, so I'm just gonna open it off of camera because it's a bit easier, uh, but, uh, that, this model also came from China, um, um, they packed really well. Um, this one was a little more expensive. Wow, two boxes in one. Oh no, it's not. So this model was just a bit more expensive um, than the British Airways Triple Seven Two Hundred. Uh, it's not a Gemini Jets model. Uh, maybe that's why it was a little more expensive. So look at this box, guys. It's it's very weird. It's like two boxes in one. But I'll just rip that off, I guess, and open it like this. I don't really know how I'm supposed to open this, but this is not a Gemini Jets model. Um, but uh, it will, um, um, it will uh, hold for my uh, British Airways long haul um, uh, fleet out of New York JFK. So I got the box open, and here's the model. So there are not many uh, reviews on YouTube uh, of, of this particular model, but um. Here we have it. The uh, second model to the collection is the 1400 scale uh, British Airways uh, 777-300ER uh, from Phoenix Models. Um, so like I said, guys, both models are um, pretty, pretty rare. Um, not so hard to find. Uh, I believe you can still find them both on eBay. Um, but like I said, they, they both hold a, a very hefty price tag. Um, they're both um, major um, kind of pieces and assets. Uh, to my uh, New York John F. Kennedy um, kind of operations um, to London Heathrow um, as they both do serve uh, the Dash 300 comes once a day and that you get the 200 ER all the time. Uh, but I, I guess we're going to start off with the uh, um, I guess we'll start off with the one that I pulled out first. So which is the Gemini Jets uh, British Airways 777 200 ER. So I'll just get the bubble wrapping off of it and uh, we'll uh, start with the uh, start with the review. So um yeah, so this was a 2015 release, I believe. We'll check it later, but uh, yeah. So uh, it is a pretty rare model. Um, it's due for like 80 bucks um on eBay these days. Um, so uh, you guys can still go pick one up if you want to. Um, but we'll, we will see how it is sent to my house. So here it is out of the bubble wrapping, the Gemini Jets, um, British Airways 777-200 ER. Um, so we'll uh, go take a he we'll go take a look at the uh, very a normal generic Gemini Jets box. You know, you got the uh, Gemini Jets logo um, up on top. Um, then you got British Airways 777-200ER. Uh, you got your normal Gemini Jets specs. And like I said, it's a 2015 release. Um, so it is in the pretty crappy <laughs> Gemini Jets mold. Uh, but we will get it out of the box. So um, we'll just take the model out of the box. And it's looking, uh, it's looking nice. So put the, the box down over there. And we'll take the model out of the box. So... Okay, so one thing I am I am realizing now is that it's not coming with like a protective uh, plastic piece. Uh, but uh, as long as the model is fine, then I don't really, I don't really care. But okay, so here's the model. Wow, perfect. Oh, we got a little, 
Uh, okay, so I do see a little problem with it, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, the rest of the model looks pretty fine. Uh, so like I said, here's the Gemini Jets British Airways 777-200DR. Uh, you do see a little problem over there. Uh, the front nose wheel is bent, um, so that definitely is a problem. Maybe I'll, I'll try to bend it back. Um, I'll try to bend it back. So, okay. Yeah, so I, I, I bend it back. Um, so now it's uh, sitting uh, very nicely. So um, here's the Gemini Jets British Airways 200, 777-200ER. Um, we will take a look at the details of this model. So um, first off, you have the cop windows with the uh, very oversized uh, nose gear. Uh, not uh, such a big fan of that. And you have your British Airways titles with your L1 and L2 boarding doors. Um, moving along, you have the uh, Rolls-Royce Trent 850s. Um, so if you guys don't know, British Airways have two um, engine options on their 777s. Um, they have a uh, GE, um, G uh, they, have a, they have a General Electric um, engine, and then they have a Rolls-Royce engine. Um, they have more General Electric engines on their 777 fleet, um, but I do hope that uh, a company does release their British Airways 777 200 uh, in the uh, General Electric because those do um, uh, come to JFK a lot. Um, so moving along, then you have your wings uh, with uh, some of uh, uh, the wings on the 777s are uh, very, very nicely detailed. And then you have the back with the registration on it, which is Golf Dash Yankee uh, Mike Mike Romeo. Um, and then you have your 777 uh, titles, a tri bong, 777. Then you have your beautiful British Airways um, tail over there. Um, so the model is very good. Um, one thing I do have to say, though, um, is that it came a little defected um with the uh bent nose gears you all oh, you guys did witness that uh but i did manage i guess to maybe bend it back and shape a little um so th it's definitely looking better um first glances of this model guys i don't really see any um damage or, or, or defects with it um although i do right now but yeah so i, d I do see a little a little smudge uh right there um on the cabin um uh right uh next to the um right over there i do see a little smudge so uh maybe um fix that in the future but i'll put that there i'll put the triple seven two hundred er over there and we will get on to the uh gemini jets uh <laughs> not the the non-gemini jets the phoenix models uh british airways boeing triple seven dash 300 er uh the registration on this guy is uh golf dash um sierra um um Sierra, uh, I forgot what T is, and then you got Bravo Lima, uh, T, yeah, I forgot, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not so good with that, uh, that, uh, the alphabet, but, uh, get the box open, let's hope the model is in, is in good condition, um, so take that, put that right there, and then we will protect, so this model was a little more money than the, uh, 777, uh, 200 ER from Gemini, uh, this model clocked in at around close to $100, a little more than $100. So that was uh, uh, very expensive, but uh, uh, definitely looks to be worth the price because it looks to be a gorgeous, gorgeous model. Wow. So I do happen to love the Phoenix 777-300ER mold, as I think it is the best 777 mold on the market. You guys could agree or disagree with that, but this model looks really, really nice off the first glance. Uh, no crooked landing gears um, uh, right off the bat, but uh, you could uh, just see the amount of details and it uh, looks really, really nice. But uh, we'll start off with the cocked windows um, and the correct um, nose gear. Um, looks really, really nice. Move along. You have your uh, British uh, Airways titles with that little um, kind of emblem over there. Um, and then you have your uh, uh, General Electric 90s, your GE 90s engines over there moving along the wing. Uh, you have your uh, red navigation light over there, and then you have your uh, gorgeous wing uh, with the overwing exits, of course. And then you have your registration, of course. Um, and then you have your um, beautiful British Airways ta uh, tail looking really, really nice. Uh, we, we will turn the model around and look at the other side. Uh, looking, looking really, really nice. Um, you have your... Uh, baggage doors over there, kind of the same generic uh, uh, details on the other side of the model, uh, moving along, uh, looking really, really nice. Um, so I do have to uh, give props um, to the, uh, uh, it was listed as new and I think it, it is a brand new model, uh, but uh, it's, re it's in really good condition. I don't really see any um, kind of faults out of the, uh, out of the, uh, um, 
the first glance uh, of me looking at it. I'll go into more detail later. But then you have your uh, beautiful bottom with the Phoenix um, uh, logo. And then you have your beautiful uh, Phoenix landing gear that as they do tilt, which is a great detail um, over there. But um, So that's the Phoenix 777-300DR. Looking really, really nice. Really happy with that purchase. Um, we will look at the bottom of the Gemini um, uh, 777-200ER. Uh, uh, so the bottom of the Gemini looking really, really nice. Like, like I said, that little paint smudge in the back, uh, kind of uh, annoying. But um, uh, yeah, so this kind of, uh, uh, um, so uh, these two models kind of uh, uh, sort of complete my uh, British Airways um, long haul, um, um, long haul fleet um, into New York JFK um, as um, they do uh, fly both variants of the 777 into New York. Um, the more common one is the ER, as it has the four-class configuration. Uh, but the 300ER, um, as well, has the three-class configuration. Um, so uh, it's really nice to see the 300ER uh, kind of come to the East Coast, because we, we haven't really gotten into East Coast a lot. Um, but yeah, so uh, I guess uh, right now we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the um, uh, kind of the nose um, landing gear um, kind of uh, um, situation, as both companies have... Um, different uh ways of it so you could look at the nose um I'll, I'll definitely zoom in so you can see it um so you can see which company does it better um obviously uh phoenix i think in my opinion does the landing gear portion better but maybe gemini does kind of the shape of the nose uh just a, a little better uh but both of these um aircrafts um are are in uh great condition um i'm, I, I'm gonna have to take off just a little points for that gemini um a little paint smudge on the back uh, but that's about it, guys. And, of course, for the landing, you're coming a little crooked. Um, but, yeah, that's about it for this uh, um, unboxing, guys. I uh, really, really do enjoy these two models. Uh, they, they're they going to look great on the shelf together, uh, along with the uh, British uh, um, 7710 and 747 uh, I have. Uh, and I, I'm going to pre-order that uh, that uh, Phoenix models A380 because uh, I do love uh, the Airbus A380, and it looks really nice with the... Uh, um, in the Phoenix mold. So, uh, really, really happy that Phoenix did release that, uh, kind of uh, a little, uh, channel news update guys. Um, oh, sorry about that. I don't know what happened over there, but, um, uh, kind of a little, uh, uh, channel update guys. Um, so I have, um, I have, um, ordered, um, I have pre-ordered a lot of models. So stay tuned for those unboxings guys coming in the next couple weeks. But anyways, guys, if you stay till the end of the mark, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, uh, please comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, uh, check out my Instagram. And uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.